Shane White, and this is The Process. Hey gang, Shane White here with another edition of The Process. Today on The Process, we're going to do another ink training uh, video. Uh, this time we're going to do uh, Hunt, the Hunt 102 Crow Quill. It's a uh, pen nib that you can get with its holder or separate, but the Hunt 102 is, is most notable around comic book inking circles as the mainstay. It's been around for a long time and people have used it for years. You might have seen another video where I was kind of demonstrating some of its qualities and today we're going to put it to the test. So I've des designed these plans that I'm hoping will help people utilize the Hunt 102 a little bit better. And in this plan, it's all about lines. So like the one I did for the brush, we're going to take a look with the pen, and see if we can get the same level of dexterity and motor control. So let's start off with some short lines. Now you'll find that the Hunt 102 is a lot more forgiving compared to a brush. Mainly because you have direct contact with the paper. So it's this feedback loop. You feel the, the surface under the pen nib and you can just pull the lines as needed. But the accuracy is still there where you have to keep a certain amount of pressure make sure your line thickness is consistent. So you can see my, the way I'm holding it. It's not much different than the brush when I'm pulling lines away from myself. And still breathing is, is important to get down. You can see I'm a little jagged here and there. but this feels so much easier than the brush. So, uh, that's the short lines. Those generally seem to work pretty well with both brush and pen. Let's see if we can do the mid-size. Feels pretty good. Now the thing is, is when you set that pen nib down, you're gonna apply pressure and then you try to keep that pressure throughout. You can see on this guy, I started off a little thin and sort of had to, sort of kept pushing down so it thickened a little bit more than it needed to be. Generally those felt pretty good. So now the, the next, next length of line, these progressively get
as always, thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to subscribe to The Process. And please, if you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment below.